We just made this Magnolia Home inspired cathedral window frame. And we did it with a piece of $20 plywood and a jigsaw. And we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? A welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it, or make it? Great, that's what we do on this channel every week. This week, we're making a cathedral window frame thing. Gothic arch. It's a wall accent. I know you guys have seen them. They're in Hobby Lobby. They're in all the craft stores. They typically go over a mantle, lean up against the wall, maybe have a boxwood wreath on it or something. I've always wanted one. I've never had one. The little research are pretty expensive, so I thought we could make it ourselves. So we're gonna try to do it in about $20. Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. This shopping list was super simple. We really just needed one two foot by four foot, three quarter inch sanded plywood. And then we had some quarter inch plywood left over from when we did the uh, shiplap wall. What? Shiplap wall. It's actually over there. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Step two, we're gonna print out our design so that we can put it on the board and know where to cut it out. So we're gonna go into Excel. Now the easiest way that I found to print a giant picture on multiple pages is to use Microsoft Excel. You just come in, you click insert, illustrations, you're gonna insert a picture. We're gonna find our picture. We're gonna select our picture, make sure we're in picture format. Over here on the right hand side, we'll set the size to 22 inches wide. Looks great. File, print. We're gonna set the landscape orientation. Then we're gonna change our margins down here to custom. We're gonna take all the margins all the way down. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, 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 boop. Doo, doo. Bam, looks great. And we're just gonna print. All right, we got them all printed. Now we have to trim them up so that we can line up all the little black pieces to each other. There's a, like 18 pieces of paper here. Yeah. Step three, now we're gonna glue it down. We're gonna glue each, each sheet down to the board. We pick the back of the board to glue it to. We're just gonna brush it on and stick it down. This will be our stencil so we know where we can cut. I didn't quite make it big enough when I printed it or small enough when I printed it. It's like right on the edge, like just less than a quarter of an inch to the edge on each side. So I'm gonna try to round off the top by taking two pencils and holding them together and tracing it to just try to add a quarter inch to it. Yeah, it'll save cutting this whole edge. It's kind of a waste to cut this whole edge. Step four. Now we're gonna drill a bunch of pilot holes so that we'll be able to get the saw into all these little squares. That's a lot of squares. It is. So I taped off my drill so I'll know when I go through. Paper's all dry. I don't have to worry about messing the paper up. Step five. Now we're gonna cut out all these little squares. You see how I put the, the holes? I put them on all the flat parts so that I can cut 
into the corners so we get a corner, not a rounding. Alright, we got it all cut out, but I left the corners. We're going to come in with the handsaw and do the corners to make sure I don't overshoot them like I did over here. And to find out the ones that you missed. Oh yeah. <laughs> what we got so far. Some of the lines might be a little wonky. <laughs> <laughs> I never claimed to be the world's best sawsman. <laughs> I'm definitely not the world's best sawsman. That's Recorded okay. For... It's supposed to be like rustic. <laughs> yeah, we'll say rustic. We'll see if we can clean it up with some uh, sandpaper. Well, these are a little crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Step six. Comment if you've noticed I've tried to keep my arm flailing to a minimum. <laughs> it's been very difficult. Step six. We're gonna Put the outer trim, the outer frame, on the frame using those little, uh, what, one quarter inch plywood pieces that we have. We measure them out. Now we're just going to cut them out and then tack them to the side. Just a one inch brad, the nail, not the guy. All right, that's what we got so far. That looks good. I am very happy with it. Not bad. Again, not the best salesman, but the sandpaper took care of most of it. Yeah, a lot of paper still on the back. Yeah, we won't show you the back. Don't look. You already showed them when you lifted it up. <laughs> Step seven. Now we're going to paint. I'm going to use this Annie Sloan chalk paint in French linen. And then I'm going to add some white wax on top of it. That's my plan. Ooh, sounds like a waxy plan. <laughs> it's hard, I don't know. It's hard to keep my hands down. You could do step one. You just don't want to do all this jazz. I do. I feel like I do. 